Action. Ian, can you handle it? News. Can you handle it? Submitted by The Mandalorian. You guys see a trailer? No. I did not. I haven't seen it. Sick. They what spent, is it? It's the new uh, Star Wars show they're putting on Disney Plus. I heard Bill Burr's in it, that's all I know. And then Taika Waititi is involved with it, right? I believe so, and... Uh, John Favreau. And Gus from Breaking Bad. <gasps> he's, he's one of the main characters. Ooh. Oh, how do they keep winning like this? Dude, they spent, they said... I heard Disney? The, I heard the show, like the first season, was over a hundred million dollars. Wow. Jesus. Damn. Petitioners are trying to get the world's scariest haunted house shut down. Fuck yeah, I'm for it, where do I sign? Wait, is this the titties one? What? Where they can touch your titties and stuff? What? Whoa. I yeah, I, I think that this is that one. Where they haunt you and you just feel something touch. That's haunting. No. So you, yeah, you're, you're, you're supposed to be. They're supposed to be able to fuck with you, however, however they want to yeah. truly scare oh. you. Oh. Yeah. And so, one, check, check. what a dope job. <laughs> <laughs> you're like. Oh, <laughs> Like this? Really, just grabbing a girl's tit like that in passing it turns you guys on? No, I mean it's um, it's free. It's free. Yeah, and you get paid to grab a boob. But I think when it's in that. passing, like, like, is it? I don't think you understand the male mind. I know, yeah. that's why I'm asking questions. Well, asking. Um, it, it depends, like, how, if she looks good or not, you know? True, like, true, true. So a titty is yeah. not just a titty you know, and a titty. A titty is a titty and it's soft. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, wait. Yeah. You, you just want to grab it. You didn't give me an answer. You said if she's hot, it's good. If she's hot, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, if you, you just kind of want to grab it, you kind of want to hold it. Yeah. Kind of want to caress it. what they look like. Uh, no, it's just the titties. You see the titty and you look at that. Yeah. Like, them looking good. Is extra credit. Yeah, if they're hot, it's better. But if not, you still want to grab it. And ask you kind of want to grab too. Yeah. But if if they're uh, but if they're like a fifty year old lunch lady, it's it's very it's a motherly titty. Like I'm grabbing the titty, but I'm not loving it. As much. Exactly. <laughs> it's kind of like it's still soft. Mm -hmm. But I'm not horny. And then no. if a girl's wearing like a skirt, you kind of want to stick your hand up the skirt if you can. Oh shit. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, and you kind of want to you kind of want to stick your hand between your legs and go like that. <laughs> <laughs> What does that we all, do? We all know, this is just male talk right now. Oh, all right. Talk. Like, that's why they even created a rule, you know, in junior high, they go, don't grab a girl's bra strap. Because that's just how guys are, they just see things, they just, they just gotta oh, do it. I hated they that. Just gotta, yeah, we gotta do it. It's just, I don't know, it's just part of the biology. Yeah, it's like, you know, like, you see a pimple and you need to pop it. Yeah. Or like, there's just a, there's just like a thing that you gotta grab and pop and... Yeah, you see a boob, you wanna go like this, but if you see a nipple, you wanna pinch. Yeah. It's like when you see a mushroom, you wanna kick it. Yeah! It's the same shit. I don't kick mushrooms. Well, you also don't grab titties, so I can't really yeah, talk you to you. Have a guy's mind, guys. Yeah. That's hey, guys. When mind. you see someone with a string hanging out their clothes, don't I you want to pull that? I'd out? never do that because it's gonna ruin the fucking shirt, sweater, whatever it's hanging out of. If you saw just a dick go by, wouldn't you try to jerk it off? <laughs> okay, that's what we think about you guys. Yeah. But when you see that's a guy's boobs mind. that are about to pop what up, are you talking about? don't you go? Woohoo! <laughs> well, we do the opposite. We pick up the shirt to help them out. Mm. Oh. We're talking about something that has nothing to do with titties. Oh. Exactly. I thought it was. I thought they grabbed he brought it. Where did derail the conversation, Tiff? Well, I'm trying to get on track here. So this place is called McKamey Manor. Ha haunted boobs. Um, and so this this place has got a very interesting reputation where they used to be in San Diego, but now they're in Tennessee, and it's this horror house. They moved the horror house? I mean, the <laughs> horror house. They're just on tits now. This okay, so horror house. bottom line, what I understand about this place is the guy who created it, his name is Russ. Of course he's the guy. He, of course his name's Russ. <laughs> I missed it. Yeah, so he is like ex-military or something, and apparently it seems like he was involved in like the torturing part of the military, mm. and so he never heard of it. course. Never heard so it's of called it. interrogation, not torture. I, never heard I know it. that's true. That is the proper Have term. Have you heard of it? Never interrogation, heard of it. but it is torture. But so this guy pretty much figured out a way. How, this is like the conspiracy part of it, that he figured out a way how to legally torture people and get his kicks because he's a sadist. So, oh, is this the one where people sign up and shit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is like, you voluntarily sign up for this. You don't pay money and that's the legal loop where it's like, well, he's not, you're not technically. Uh, it's not a transaction. Exactly. So, so girls are signing up to get fucked up and they're like, fuck me so up and it's just going. You, wait, wait. Let me explain to you what the fucked up means because okay. it's pretty fucked up. Mm -hmm. So they're saying that like in the waiver, it says like, you know, you are agreeing that you might get your nail bed pulled <gasps> out. Like your nails wow. get pulled out from your That's nail bed. Real torture. Yes. Uh, waterboarded. Um, you could get your teeth pulled out. You'll be, Whoa. Able to, you'll be ingesting like insects, fake vomit, fake blood, or actually vomit. Um, so then, fake vomit and real vomit? No, I don't know about that, but it seems like they they make you swallow your own vomit and shit. Like 
So fake, real, and your own vomit? <laughs> yeah, it could be either or, or any. <laughs> Cocktail of vomit. Fake. Well, weird. Maybe fake yeah. blood. JK party. It's fake blood. So then, um... So these things are JK party things. Except for the nail beds. Dude, honestly, yeah. when I was reading this shit, I'm like, I've been through some shit with JK party. I think <laughs> yeah. I can do this. I ate my own vomit and bugs. Nobody and it was asked legal because you, you didn't pay anything for JK party. <laughs> you called yourself not a bitch. And you're like, I ain't no bitch. And then you ate the fucking thing you just threw up. Nobody yeah. asked you to do that. I don't want to think about that. So anyway, so then the requirements here is is that uh, the payment is just a bag of dog food because this guy has five dogs. So you don't really need to pay other than giving dog food. You must be 21 <laughs> years or older or 18 to 20 with parents, uh, parents approval. You have to complete a sports physical and a doctor's letter stating that you're physically and mentally cleared. Wow. You have to pass a background check provided by the place. You must be screened via Facebook, FaceTime, or phone. You have to have proof of medical insurance, and you have to sign a very detailed 40-page waiver. And you have to pass a portable drug test on the day of the show. This this show can last up to 10 hours. but the It's harder to get here than to become a police officer. Yeah. Shit's crazy. But people still do it. <laughs> yeah, why is it worth so, it? So, exactly, so people... I don't know why yeah. people run marathons for you. People get a thrill out of this. Same as that shit. Yeah, people like, then, I went through torture and I survived. Like, so let me explain a little like bit that. more. So then like his previous shows, they Wait, were- It's a like, show. The, he calls them show or tours. Oh. oh I thought he was like live taping them. No, he does. Oh. He actually records absolutely everything that these people- It's like the song. Because he has, he says that he, he, Specializes in like hypnosis and stuff, so people end up he he really gets into your head Just like a squeeze your titty and so mm -hmm. people think that certain things happen to them when they were there But because he's recording everything he has to provide that Oh, like that it didn't happen edited raw footage to the authorities to show them like see I didn't do this It's just I really fucked with their minds where they think I did this. I mean of so, course it could be He's like, like listen. I got five dogs. I gotta be doing this shit. <laughs> no, so then, um, so then the previous ones they were very clever. Physical, but then this new one is called Desolation. He says that this one, because he makes you watch a two-hour movie of explaining, like, like the first thirty minutes, because I watched that was like just him explaining, like, I don't like cussing, so every time you cuss, oh, because he's offering twenty thousand dollars to whoever to whoever can pass the entire thing. Oh shit. But he's like, I promise you, don't even come for the money because you will not get a penny from me. I promise you, you won't. So he's like, pretty much the whole time is like explaining that. So every time you cuss, he'll remove 500 bucks or whatever it is. And then- Cause people go, fuck! And then the other good chunk, like an hour and a half of the movie is just a whole bunch of testimonials of people who've tried to do the manner and got like spit out like they're just like we can't fucking do this if any navy seals watching this you want 20 grand no so he's saying that navy seals like the green beret like all these people like the top tier military people they can't even do it you what know? you know why yeah it's because they they, they go into the wrong people you need to get crackheads I'm gonna assemble a team of crackheads. You can't though, there's a drug test. So now there's- oh, yeah. No, 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 but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him so- It's a logical test, bro. I'm gonna, bam. Yep. Yeah. That'll, they'll fail that. They'll yeah, fail that. Yeah, and, and uh, so now there's this petition online. I'll get five crackheads. Get 75,000 signatures to shut down McKamey Manor because they are claiming that it's just a torture team tortured chamber under disguise and that they do screenings just to find the weakest most easily manipulated people to do the haunt but they're volunteering though yeah so then that's the thing like uh, there's a ton of people that are like they're fucking volunteering like it's a consent it's a consensual yeah. torture or whatever it is but then these people are trying to shut it down they're just like who's oh. these people the people that lost I don't know. Just anyone so against it. Like, you know, they they are purposely trying to find weak people to get like so he could get his kicks out of this. He also has to notify the cops before he starts a show and let them know like, hey, um, don't come guns a blazing like you have in the past because these people have signed sh signed shit. They want us to torture them because they're literally screaming. And then the other thing too is that shit. Like, he was not he originally or like at one point You could quit at any time. That's the thing I was trying to get to. So at one point, they didn't allow for a safe word or something, but now they do because they were they were like, the fuck, even like BDSM torture that has safe words. Yeah. So now they're saying, or he, the manor is claiming that you can use a safe word and there is like two things I think that you can 
say like these things I will not let you do to me. Like I absolutely refuse to do those things. I want my nails and my teeth. So he says, mm -hmm. no, he I know, says no, like, no. Um, oh, but he's saying that this one is not physical at all. It's all mental. Oh, that's even worse. This new show is the desolation one. It's all mental, like you won't even get touched, but it's pretty much to mind fuck you into thinking you're completely alone and like really crushed your mental do you, state. Do you want to do this? Me? No, I'm just like. <laughs> Cause I thought you wanted to get kidnapped and all that's all that was. Fuck no, I don't want to do this. I kind of want to try and fuck that. Let me show you, you guys that? the trailer. Let me show you the trailer. Oh my lord. And then people it's like, get out. Full of extreme horror. He spends hours watching the footage of, and then like editing it. And so he's like. He's passionate. Yeah, super. These are the past ones. Oh, fuck! Is he in mud? I don't know oh, what it is. <laughs> 10 hours, people. 10 hours. What the fuck? Oh, shit! Yeah. Oh, oh fuck! What kind of drill is yeah, that? Yeah, mouth? yeah! I like how they showed a drill and it's like, people are well aware of what they're doing. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. What is that? Right, they're operating know. on his mouth. This shit is fucking crazy. That guy was drowning in a cage. That looks kind of fun right there, though. There's a lot of mud. That's somebody's taking a shit. Yeah. I know. What, what's his shit? It's also like, there's a lot of oh, fake blood. What here. in the? Who's that fucking seaweed? <laughs> the contact <laughs> part. Uh, the door today. No, thank you. Yeah, so this is, this is Russ. Wanna get Whoa. fucked up? Okay. Why is that guy smiling? Did he just finish it? Yeah, he just, he he quit. That's no a... one's ever finished it. Like, he just, he ended up quitting. Oh and then he films everyone saying, like, you don't want to do this. What the fuck is he green? <laughs> he ends up, because they put shit all over you. I don't know. What they the fuck easy. happened, dude? But it just seems fucking wild. And can, he, can he even last his own shit? <laughs> I don't think so, but he says like he personalizes each show depending on like the person. Oh, oh how thoughtful. Like if you tell them like, oh, oh my biggest oh. fears are snakes, then my biggest oh. fear is eating a lot of candy. No, don't do it. <laughs> That's <laughs> easy. Hugs. Yeah. I fucking hate I hate Care snakes. Bears, man. I'm fucking freaked out by Care Bears. <laughs> That's where the questionnaire comes into play. Yep. But you know what? 64,005 people have signed the change.org oh. petition to oh. shut it down. Cause they're saying like, you know, these people, some of the people that have done this already, they need to seek professional psychiatric No help. shit, we could have all told you that was gonna happen. For sure. Listen, but, this is like when people who don't watch people want them banned from stages and stuff, and it's like they're not even the fan base. Yeah. It's like people just fucking interjecting themselves yeah. and stuff. Fuck them. Yeah. yeah. People want to sign up, let them sign up. They're making yeah. some like really crazy <clears throat> accusations here too, because they're saying that he uses needles to inject people with drugs, which forces them to have hallucinations. And that he hires people that have violent histories and and sex offenders. So like even his his volunteer employees aren't even like safe people. So I mean, but what if they're passionate about torture and they get to do this in a express it in a legal so, way? That's the thing too. They're saying that people that have done these these tours, like some people, like the people that end up working there, is because they tried it and they say, how can I join to hurt people too? Yeah. And it's just like, what the It's consensual. It's oh, like, yeah. Hi. yeah. To me, if it's consensual, yeah. you want to give yourself PTSD. Yeah, That's what I'm mean. saying too. I'm do like, it. you do it, yep. good for you. And it's good better luck. that they express themselves this way than they fucking kidnap a kid and do that shit. Yeah, but then the people are trying to shut it down. They're like, well, Maybe he already did it, and now he's doing this to cover up his. Well, you guys need to be detectives. Oh, fucking time. Yeah. You need to, you need to be detectives and do your actual detective work and get evidence. You fucking imaginary hoes. Like David, people give a shit about shit they shouldn't fucking give a shit about. 